Hello everyone, welcome to my repair series. Today we're going to perform a Nintendo DSi Wi-Fi replacement. And to start off with that, there's been quite a bit of issues um, regarding the Nintendo DSi. Um, sometimes when you turn it on and you constantly get this looping error of um, there's been an error, an error has occurred and power off your Nintendo DSi and refer to the Nintendo troubleshooting manual. Of course that's not so helpful that just keeps going in a loop. I kind of did some research online a lot of people are saying that if you replace the Wi-Fi card that's usually um, the resolution to the matter. So that's what we're going to do today and I'm going to be working on my son's Nintendo DSi. It's occurred to his and we'll um, get into the nitty-gritty, get it repaired, hopefully it works. Um, thank you. Sit tight. Alright, I wanted to show you original what the actual error message that we're getting with the old Wi-Fi card. So we'll go ahead and start it up here. And let's see here. We'll try to start up some Lego Batman, my son's favorite. And an error has occurred. Press and hold the power button to turn off the system. Please see the Nintendo DSi operation menu for help troubleshooting. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is what we continue to get in a loop. Um, so let's go ahead and replace the Wi-Fi card and see what conclusion we get. Thanks. All right. So the hardware we're going to be working with today. Here's our tools. You got your little mini screwdriver. Easily purchased off of eBay for a few pennies. It's got the. Uh, it's a small. Uh, Phillips, so that way we can get into the uh, Nintendo DSi, and then the replacement Nintendo DSi Wi-Fi card. And we're just going to use the existing cables that are on the system board of the Nintendo DSi, and just do a complete sw just a simple swap. This was literally five dollars with free shipping. I'll paste the uh, URL down in the comments or in the detail section below, and let's get started. All right, everyone. I have both Wi-Fi cards side by side. I want to show you the OEM uh, original Nintendo Wi-Fi card, which is on the right here, and is it is the DWM W024. It was auto focusing earlier here. Let's see if I can get it to auto focus for you again. But it's DWM W024 is the original what's inside the Nintendo D DSi and then from the link from eBay that I sent below this is the replacement part which is DWM-W015 so don't be alarmed when you get this part because don't be alarmed when the part numbers don't match up this is the compatible replacement for the Nintendo DSi it's literally five dollars with free shipping and this will get it should get the, the issue resolved um, I just wanted to chime in here to, to uh, give you that little tidbit not to be alarmed and we'll finish with the conclusion thanks alright we're ready to start the process of disassembly I'll go ahead and start with the battery door here simply unscrew this here and we'll go with the other screw bottom left corner You just kind of use your fingernail to pop this right up. And then your fingernail on the top here to pop this out. Now let's go ahead and start with the screws. And when I take out screws, I like to align them of where I removed them from. I feel like I feel like that's an easy, manageable way. So as you take these out, I'll just set them right above or where I took them out. And then when I'm ready to put them back in, I know where they correspond to. We'll start with the top top here. Just make sure it gets a nice grip in there. And I wish this one was magnetic, but it's not. So I'll just get them loose and then pop them out afterwards. So I'm doing the bottom left now. Going back up here to the top middle. And doing top right. And then I'm going to do bottom right corner here behind the battery door. And then we just need to get these up here. And 
and I have my even though my mini screwdriver is not magnetic I have these magnetic squares that I can use simply use to get little tiny screws out it's like magic right If anyone's interested in these magnetic building blocks that you can kind of conform and I'll set the link down below as well. They're really nifty from getting screws out of uh, tiny little spaces. Then the bottom right corner. All right, so we're we're done with all the screws. And the next section, we'll go ahead and uh, disassemble it and replace the Wi-Fi card, and then we'll turn it on and see what we get. All right, now we're at the at the point of ready to disassemble the Nintendo DSi. And some disassembly videos, you know, they'll show you like a mini spatula to kind of separate the body. What I kind of do is just use my fingernail and I, I apply pressure near the the battery area here, and just kind of simply pop the, the body loose from itself and then I'm just running my my fingernail just around, along the body to um, pry it open and you want to be careful because in this area there's a cable here and that ribbon cable connects the system board to all the peripheral features and functions so you want to make sure when you pry this upwards you do it in a slow clamshell manner because you don't want to break that ribbon cable and cause damage to it. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So after I do that, it kind of popped loose. And then you simply add a little bit more pressure to get around to get the last component here. This right side that's still kind of stuck, so we'll just run our nail along it. And you make sure you want to get this screw here. I missed the screw, so it's actually behind the battery door and it's more of the top right corner. And then we can use our nifty magnetic blocks and pop that out and now this will come out all right so this is what I've done as I've kind of been wrestling with it on and off camera um, now have it open and we have this upwards where I'm up slowly opening it in a clamshell manner as you can see the ribbon cable is connected in the top left corner there and I don't need to open it up all the way to, re to perform this repair we're going to simply this is the existing Wi-Fi card that we're going to replace and get repaired so you simply lift up on the Wi-Fi card and underneath you see that white cable it's going to correspond with our replacement part and as you can see, this is our new replacement part. We're just going to do a, an exact swap. So I'll go ahead and disconnect. I actually disconnected the ribbon cable, which is fine. And let me go ahead and pop this up. It has a little bit of tape applied to it, so you may have to remove the tape. You will have to remove the tape. And then just pop it out simply like that. In the same exact manner, just go ahead and pop this back in place. Just use your little fingernails to pry that in place. And then you just set it right back down 
and as you can see in this area you want to correspond with the sock with the socket itself so go ahead and just place it right in there so you get a nice firm click get a nice good firm click that's been replaced it's optional to put the existing tape back on it I'm not and now I'm going to put the bottom piece on and make sure I reconnect the ribbon cable and we're just going to simply place it here it probably would be easier if you left the ribbon cable attached but if it comes undone you can just simply pop it right back in place until it's firmly seated get it firmly seated there and I'm going to go ahead and button this back up simply put, a, put all the screws back in place and then we'll move on to the conclusion alright now I know I said I wasn't going to reapply the tape that it came with um, on the Wi-Fi card um, of the old Wi-Fi card so what I ended up doing just you know look in your utility box, the utility drawer somewhere in the kitchen grab some electrical tape and I just taped down the new Wi-Fi card because I f figure you know kids are jostling around they drop it you wouldn't want the new Wi-Fi card to jostle free from its little socket because um, you can you know apply pressure and it gets a nice good firm click but if you know this takes a drop from three feet who knows if it dislodges and then you come you run to the same issue where you have to pry this back open, reseat it. So I just use some electrical tape to get it nicely firm and seated and hopefully that, that helps keep it in place as it's enduring um, kid um, havoc. Alright, thanks. Alright, the moment of truth folks, let's try it out. some Batman. There's my funny son. Let's try some Batman see what we get here. Oh, we weren't getting licensed by Nintendo last time. Perfect. So the replacement card has resolved the issue of the message of stating there's been an error, or the error has occurred on Nintendo DSi. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you like the video, please like. Um, let me go ahead and turn this off. And if you like the subscriptions, I'll be creating more of these uh, repair series as well as. Um, other slapstick and rhyming and other uh, videos but this has been a repair series of the Nintendo DSi Wi-Fi replacement card thank you for watching